Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen this face, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell button to be updated on my videos. So as you guys know, I recently got a MacBook Pro, I think two weeks ago. So this is it. This is her right now. She doesn't have a case. Instead, I bought her a, I think you call this a sleeve, I think. I'm not too sure, but it's just the Herschel brand. It's black, you know, normal. And it's just one compartment for the MacBook. I don't like it when the dust comes to my MacBook or like it gets into the ports. I just don't like that. So I prefer using a sleeve so it covers like the whole thing. But eventually I will still get a case because cases are cute and they're addicting to buy. So what we're gonna do is actually a customization and a review. So let's start with the customization. I'm gonna do a screen record of this. Okay. So it's screen recording right now. So as you can see on this screen, my icon, I guess, or like my picture is Jaden. And it is actually a digital art made by Hilary May, one of my good friends here on YouTube. So I actually have a checklist. And the first thing on my checklist is background. So backgrounds. On my screen, you can actually see like a dirty pink, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a dirty rose colored background that matches my icons. You're gonna see a wallpaper that says believe in yourself. And I actually made this. I made it on Fonto on my phone. Phone and I just airdropped it to my laptop. I'm not sure if you do, but if you guys want this, I can email it to you. I will leave my email on the description box. And yeah, it's just as believe in yourself because I just want to be reminded that I should believe in myself and everything. I just wanted my background to be clean looking and not messy, but I do love the collages. And the best collage website you can get is actually from Julia K. Chris dot com she's actually a youtuber and she is the og macbook customization youtuber person yeah her graphics are bomb they're so nice and she's actually amazing at doing it and yeah like i said she's the og this is her website she has macbook screensavers ipad screensavers iphone screensavers apple watch backgrounds app icons digital planner and desktop icons so if you do want to see her screensavers or like the background, she has these collages and it's so nice. I actually love this one. Let's open it up. Let's try using it just so we can see what the collage looks like. She also has simple looking ones too. This is my favorite, but first coffee. Let me just try this, okay? So that's set as desktop picture. It looks really nice. I love how she made it, but I'm going to use my own wallpaper that I made, which is this one. Okay, so backgrounds, check. So the next thing I'm gonna customize is my icons. As you can see, I have butterflies on this side and these ones on this side. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. And I also got all my icons actually from Julia K. Chris. I went to desktop icons. So she does have a few. She has this like succulents, this rainbow, coffee mugs, and butterfly star, bus, and a flower. Lately, I've been into butterflies. So I've used these two. So you're gonna open it up and then you drag the picture to your desktop. Open it up and you're gonna see a black butterfly. It's actually a PNG already, but I can show you how to make a PNG if you want to use your own pictures. So let's make a folder and I'm gonna show you how to put the icon on that folder or like replace the folder to make an icon. Yeah. So you're gonna right click on the folder and then you're gonna go to get info and then this shows up. So let's put that side by side. So we're gonna go back to our picture that we just saved. And for this one, you're just gonna press Ctrl A to highlight everything, Ctrl C to copy. And then we're gonna go back to the folder, press it until it is highlighted, make sure it's highlighted, and then press Ctrl V. And there it is. We have an icon with a butterfly. <laughs> If you don't have a PNG, PNG means there's a transparent background, by the way. So let's go on, let's just go on Google. Let's just do aesthetic pictures. Okay, you know what? Let's put, go to aesthetic icons. Okay, for example, you want this one, bubbles. Let's pick up another folder. There we go. So let's open up bubbles. It looks like there's a transparent background, but trust me, it's not. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press markup. It's this one. It has a pencil inside a circle, this one. And then you're gonna click this wand thing, sparkly, what do you call it? Instant alpha. So you're just gonna drag that until the rest of the background is colored up. And then you just press delete. And then it says convert this document to PNG. And then you're gonna say, yes, convert. So there you go, now you have a PNG. And like before, we're just gonna press Control A, Control C, get info on this folder, highlight the folder, and then press Control V. And there you go. There you have bubbles as your icon.
It's really easy and it's really cute to make because it adds like a personal touch to your MacBook. And actually for my folders, I like to space it out just so it looks like the tracking effect, I guess. For example, like this one, I'm gonna rename it into bubbles, right? So instead of seeing that, you're gonna see B space U space B space B space L space E space S. And I don't know, it just looks cuter, but that's, you know, for me. Oh, so you can actually change the icons on your dock as well. I believe you can change the Apple app icons like launchpad um app store but you can do change like the final cut pro your google chrome safari and stuff like that so yeah icons are done and let's go on to hot corners so for hot corners you're gonna go to system preferences and then desktop and screensaver and then hot corners so hot corners is when you drag your cursor over to the corner that you want and it's gonna do a specific task that you want it to do. Yeah. So for example, for my top left, I put start screensaver. For my bottom left, I put launchpad. For my top right, I did desktop. And for my bottom right, I did lock screen. So there's a bunch that you can just, you know, play with it. And yeah, so let's test it out. So top left is screensaver. So I do have the clock, which I will show you. And then bottom left is my launch pad. Top right is my desktop. So let's go on Safari and then let's go on YouTube. And then desktop, see, it just pushes it away. And then bottom right is my lock screen. There you go. So yeah, that's just like shortcuts if you want to do something quick. It's really convenient for me. I've been using hot quarters ever since I discovered it. So next is the clock screen saver. So for that, we're going to go to flick. Co sorry, Flicklow. Flicklow? Yeah, Flicklow.com. So I'm gonna link this on the description box just so you guys can download it if you want and it's easier for you. Download it, it's free. You can use it for Mac and for Windows actually. So now that it's downloaded, you just open it up. This one. I'm not gonna install it anywhere because I have it, but you guys know what to do. Yeah, that is when you get this one. It's really easy, it's cute, and it's so sleek looking and professional looking actually. Another screensaver that I like is, not a lot of people know this, but it is the shifting tiles, this one. So let's actually make a folder. Um, let's go to Candidly Carry. This person has really nice backgrounds. This is where I get my quote backgrounds sometimes. I just really like the look of it. She really makes it so minimal looking and I just like it. So let's just get a random wallpapers at least um, I don't let's get a bunch okay so let's make a folder out of that okay, so I just dragged everything into a folder you know, let's, let's change the folders so it's cute and then, and then let's rename the folder to screen saver so now that we have our folder for that let's go back to system preferences and then desktop and screen saver Shifting tiles. So the source is where you're gonna find the folder. So choose folder and then desktop screensaver. Okay, so you're gonna choose that and you're gonna see the pictures that you actually saved on the folder. So let's check the screensaver. So as you can see, that is all the pictures that we saved and it just keeps on shifting. If you have a theme going on, it's gonna look way better and super pretty. Also, I did install a few apps, which is the Todoist today. You can just find that on the app store. It is just for your notifications widget, I believe you call this. It helps me like track what I'm supposed to do. So for example, customizing my Mac, that is done and it goes away because I'm done with that. It just helps you be more organized as a person and it helps you not forget things. And the last thing you can customize, if you have a touch bar, not a lot of people know this, okay? So you're gonna go to system preferences, you're gonna go to keyboard and then you're gonna go to customize control strip and that is where you can customize it. So as you can see, the icons are wiggling right now. Just like for the iPhone, it means it's being customized. So you can actually drag icon from your screen to your touch bar and you can personalize it and cust or customize it the way you want it. So yeah, that is my customization for my MacBook. I hope you guys learned something new if you haven't. But yeah, that is how I customize my MacBook and I really like it because lately I've been into like this dirty rose gold color or dirty rose color. And let's go on for the review. So for my review, is, it is worth your money. The touch bar, I've been using it religiously for emojis. Obviously, I use the volume, I use the brightness, I use the keyboard brightness when it's like nighttime and you know, the 
keyboard brightness is too bright and yeah and then the volume mute obviously at first i was not used to having the touch bar in my mind i was like i can do this on my trackpad i can do this with my keyboard but actually no the touch bar is so helpful it's so convenient it's basically a shortcut it does get hot that is the downside but it is only when i use it on the bed if it's on the bed it can't breathe but if you're on the table it can breathe because these ones these four rubber circle things it actually gives um the macbook and the table space for the air to breathe out and actually when i'm editing my videos on final cut pro or imovie whatever which one the fan does go off only if you've been using it for hours one time i heard the fan when i was editing from 7 p.m until like 3 a.m and that was like a really long time right so yeah i've heard the fan twice during that editing session but that was from like 7 p.m to 3 a.m so that's a huge like you know my laptop has been open for that long also when i use my hub and i have my usb plugged into it i have my sd card plugged into it and i also have the macbook charger plugged into it so i had three things plugged into it and that is when the fan went off as well but overall actually when i was editing exporting is so fast editing is so fast it's really nice that's all i can say it's worth your money guys because the touch bar is really useful as well you have a big screen because as you can see like it only has a small bezel trackpad is huge now and yeah that's all i can say i hope you guys like my macbook customization video and a short review just so if you guys are interested in purchasing a macbook pro 2020 it is worth your money i'm telling you this is such a good spend i'm so happy i saved up for this and yeah so if you liked my video and enjoyed my video please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye it's another morning i don't know what to do i'm just lying in